affinity by john kendrick bangs read for LibriVox.org by betty b affinity once in a garden in the east a zephyr blew across the close and as it swept the floral feast it lost its heart unto the rose but duty held it on its way and called it north and south and west returning on a winter's day it found its love at rest the ages passed and still the soft enamoured breeze held on its path now near to earth and now aloft it cut its fate appointed swath but never in its pilgrimage forgot that beauteous garden close nor in the later days of age its heartache for the rose so i in that lost other state wherein my heart first met the tide of life and love ah blessed fate a rose of beauty once espied and though the myriad years have passed since first on her my soul was set again i come to her at last my own true love as yet end of poem this recording is in the public domain the word by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by betty b the word today whatever may annoy the word for me is joy just simple joy the joy of life the joy of children and of wife the joy of bright blue skies the joy of rain the glad surprise of twinkling stars that shine at night the joy of winged things upon their flight the joy of noonday and the tried true joyousness of eventide the joy of labor and of mirth the joy of air and sea and earth the countless joys that ever flow from him whose vast beneficence doth dim the lustrous light of day and lavish gifts divine upon our way whate'er there be of sorrow i'll put off till to-morrow and when to-morrow comes why then twill be to-day and joy again end of poem this recording is in the public domain a smiling paradox by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by betty b a smiling paradox i've squandered smiles to-day and strange to say although my frowns with care i've stowed away to-night i'm poorer far in frowns than at the start while in my heart wherein my treasures best i store i find my smiles increased by several score end of poem this recording is in the public domain the gifts divine by john kendrick bangs recorded for librivox dot org by betty b the gifts divine from earth and sky and sea let cheer come unto me and mirth and tenderness and all the things that bless that i may pass them on to those who suffer woes not keep them for mine own nor joy in them alone but share them to the uttermost indeed and thought in all good will with them that need so that when at the end of this my earthly day whence i have come returning all the world will say he richly lived and lavishly he gave of wealth that knows no ceasing with the grave but reaches on into the presence of the throne eternal gifts of cheer and love end of poem this recording is in the public domain the kingdom of man by john kendrick bangs recorded for librivox dot org by betty b the kingdom of man oh what of the outer drear as long as there's inner light as long as the sun of cheer shines ardently bright as long as the soul's a wing as long as the heart is true what power hath trouble to bring a sorrow to you no bar can encage the soul nor capture the spirit free as long as old earth shall roll or ours shall be our world is the world within 
our life is the thought we take and never an outer sin can mar it or break brood not on the rich man's land sigh not for the miser's gold holding in reach of your hand the treasure untold that lies in the minds of heart that rests in the soul alone bid worry and care depart come into your own end of poem this recording is in the public domain the voyage by john kendrick bangs recorded for librivox dot org by betty b the voyage out out upon the sea we sail to brave the tempest and the gale to seek some golden shore afar where fortune and her favors are by some the harbor ne'er is won despite the journey well begun the storm besets and ruin lies where yesterday were fairest skies for others blessed with kindlier winds the speedy ship the harbor finds a haven safe where all is well and fortune stands as sentinel for me my craft is sailing on through mist to-day clear seas anon whate'er the final harbor be tis good to sail upon the sea end of poem this recording is in the public domain a winter song by john kendrick bangs recorded for librivox dot org by betty b a winter song winter hedges me about all the scene is cold and white clouds are laden all with doubt and the day hath much of night yet i hold secure within thoughts of spring and summer days and above the north wind's din rise the thrush's roundelays hints of daffodil and rose memories of busy bees pictures of the morning glows of the sunlight through the trees there i dwell from care apart in a sweet and cosy spot in the land of happy heart where the winter cometh not end of poem this recording is in the public domain a thanksgiving by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by betty b a thanksgiving for summer rain and winter sun for autumn breezes crisp and sweet for labor's doing to be done and labor's all complete for april may and lovely june for bud and bird and buried vine for joys of morning night and noon my thanks dear lord are thine for loving friends on every side for children full of joyous glee for all the blessed heavens wide and for the sounding sea for mountains valleys forests deep for maple oak and lofty pine for rivers on their seaward sweep my thanks dear lord are thine for light and air for sun and shade for merry laughter and for cheer for music and the glad parade of blessings through the year for all the fruitful earth's increase for home and life and love divine for hope and faith and perfect peace my thanks dear lord are thine end of poem this recording is in the public domain sunlight by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by j l baldwin ice and snow are cold i know pain and sorrow too are chill ever notice how the glow of the sun on ice and snow on your wintry window sill melts away the snow and ice sends it tripping in a trice so with every ill so with every chilling storm all will melt away if you'll only let the warm streams of sunlight play in and all about your room enemy to sin enemy to care and gloom let the sunlight in end of poem this recording is in the public domain A Philosopher by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Deb K. To take things as they be, that's my philosophy. No use to holler, mope, or cuss. If they was changed, they might be wuss. 
if rain is pourin down and lightnin's buzzin round i ain't a fearin will be hit but grin that i ain't out in it if i got deep in debt it hasn't happened yet and owed a man two dollars gee why i'd be glad it wasn't three if someone come along and tried to do me wrong why i should sort of take a whim to thank the lord i wasn't him i never seen a night so dark there wasn't light somewheres about if i took care to strike a match and find out where end of poem this recording is in the public domain Two Doors by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Deb K. There is a door that opens on a chamber darkened, full of gloom. A ghostly light shines in upon the dwellers in the spacious room. Here fear and trouble pace about, anxiety and woe and grief, foreboding, weariness and doubt, and worry that escapes relief. This door I call forgetfulness. In letters deep the word is cut. And though the dwellers madly press, I keep it ever tightly shut. This other door, remembrance is, it opens on a cheerful scene, past joys and little tastes of bliss, and happy moments that have been. Dear peace and sweet content dwell here, and little deeds of kindness done, and hope and love and faith and cheer, and blessings that my life hath won. This door is open all the while, flung wide that every one may share, possessions that make life a smile and put to rout all thoughts of care. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Age Proof by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Betty B. Second childhood came a-knocking For the aged man a-thirst, But he met it with a mocking, I suppose, said he, tis shocking, your arrangements to be blocking but i'm hardly through my first i presume it is outrageous and i doubt not you will scold but in all the many stages of my life bright and umbrageous youth has i been so contagious that i fail to grow up old whereupon i'm glad to tell oh he escaped a senile roll in the sere and in the yellow this dear happy-hearted fellow kept a beautifully mellow touch of boyhood in his soul end of poem this recording is in the public domain the richer minds by john kendrick bangs read for LibriVox.org by deb k when it comes to buying shares in the mines of earth may i join the millionaires who are rich in mirth let me have a heavy stake in fresh mountain air I will promise now to take all that you can spare. When you're setting up your claim in the mines of glee, don't forget to use my name. You can count on me. Nothing better can be won, freer from alloy, than a bouncing claim and consolidated joy. You can have your copper stocks, gold and tin and coal. What I'd have within my box has to do with soul. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Gardening by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Betty B. Gardening. To dig and delve in nice clean dirt can do a mortal little hurt. To live amongst lush and growing things is like to give the spirit wings. Who works amongst roses soon will find their fragrance budding in his mind. And minds that sprout with roses free, well, that's the sort of mind for me end of poem this recording is in the public domain if by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by deb k if i were fire i'd burn the world away if i were wind i'd turn my storms thereon if i were water i'd soon let it drown checho and glary if i were fire i'd seek the frozen north and warm it till it blossomed fairly forth and in the sweetness of its smiling mien resembled some soft southern garden scene and when the winter came again i'd seek the chilling homes and lowly ones and meek and do my small but most efficient part to bring a wealth of comfort to the heart 
If I were a wind, I'd turn my breath upon the calm-bound mariner until anon. The eager craft on which he sailed should find the harbor blessed toward which it hath inclined. And in the city streets, when summer days were withering the soul with scorching rays, I'd seek the fevered brow and aching eyes, and take to them a touch of paradise. If I were water, it would be my whim to seek out all earth's desert places grim, and turn each arid acre to a fair, lush home of flowers and oasis rare. Resolved in dew, I'd nestle in the rose, as summer rain I'd ease the harvest woes, and where a tear to pain would be relief, a tear I'd be to kill the sting of grief. If I were gold, I'd seek the poor man's purse, I'd try to win my way into the verse of some grand singer of man's brotherhood, and prove myself so pure, so fraught with good, that all the world would bless me for the cup of happiness I'd brought for all to sup. And when at last my work of joy was o'er, I'd be content to die and be no more. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Books of Spring by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Deb K. I find it hard to read these fresh spring days. I cannot pay due heed to well-worn bays. I cannot fix my mind on romance themes, or the rare jewels find in poets' dreams. The music of the fields is calling me, the rich and coral yields of yon blue sea. And all the books I know, my treasure trove, are natures all aglow with joy and love. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Don't Care and Never Mind by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Deb K. Don't care is no friend of mine. I don't care for him. When he comes it is a sign sense is growing dim. He is not the thing of pride some folks deem to think. Folly is his constant guide. Bread and meat and drink. Not to care when things go wrong. Not to care when ill rises up to check your song and your heart to chill. That were foolishness indeed of an errant sort. Nothing is too slight to heed on the way to port. But the sunny, never mind, he's a different white. Helps us when the day's inclined, not to treat us right. Softens every bitter blast, warms us when we're cold. When the sky is overcast, keeps us blithe and bold. Bids all sorrow go its way, helps us stay our tears. And when life seems drear and gray, quiets all our fears. When it comes to share and share, I shall be resigned. If some other gets don't care, I'll take never mind. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. As to Epitaphs by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Deb K. Who cares for fulsome epitaphs? Cold, stony, staring paragraphs, in marble letters carved to rear their praises in some graveyard drear, where none come by save those who weep for others in eternal sleep, who dreams of statues in some place where worried humans madly race, in bronze or brass are hewn in stone, set proudly high aloof, alone, shrunk from a thing of life and wit into insensate counterfeit. When comes the time that I shall stand within the mystic shadowland, may it be mine to find my name in letters written in living flame, simple, devoid of striving art, deep in some fellow being's heart, not on a shaft to pierce the skies, but in the tears from loving eyes, not on some icy marble scroll, but in some comrade's wistful soul, who takes the name and fame of me and treasures it in memory. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. After the Tiff by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Deb K. That every rose should have its thorn is Mother Nature's way, and hence it is I do not mourn at finding out today that Daphne, whom I love so much, for whom there is no match, for her, all her soft and tender touch, can scratch. The thing to do is not to moan, because I've learned the fact, but let her rosy sweets atone this slightly feline act. No man who has the slightest wit, because the thorn is there, condemns the rose, but handles it with care. Hence when my rose hath come again, my frown she shall not see. She'll find me smiling gaily when once more she comes to me. She'll find the love I testify no bubble is forlorn, to perish when it's tis punctured by a thorn. End of poem. 
This recording is in the public domain. An Unselfish Hermit by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Betty B. Tis sometimes good to be alone. Deep thinkers frequently affirm it to seek some spot afar unknown and dwell there as a very hermit for me i'm not at all inclined to frown on folks who go in hiding there to restore a wearied mind or to escape a world too chiding indeed i think that loneliness instead of as some say distressing is often truly more or less a source of comfort and a blessing but i'm no selfish white and so when i'm alone i so prepare it i have a brown-eyed lass i know along with me to share it end of poem this recording is in the public domain my neighbor by john kendrick bings read for librivox dot org by nicole vaccaro set down said he when greeting me i'm glad to see you back bring up a cheer and set down here straightway i did as i was bid and taking up the most convenient chair i drew it nigh the genial stove and set down there we talked and laughed and grinned and chaffed he joked with me until the night grew dim i joked with him and when twas o'er i sought the door and walked home through the evening clear convinced that he did well to call a chair a cheer twixt you and me that's what it be with whole-souled neighbors such as he end of poem this recording is in the public domain winter flowers by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by betty b winter flowers some seek for blossoms in the south where fragrant garden closes are by some lush river's verdured mouth in lands afar but not beneath those balmier skies seek i my floral dividends i find them in my children's eyes i find them in the smile i prize beyond all life's felicities and in the hearts of friends end of poem this recording is in the public domain the pine by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by betty b the pine let others have the maple trees with all their garnered sweets let others choose the mysteries of leafy oak retreats i'll give to other men the fruit of cherry and the vine their claims to none will i dispute if i can have the pine i love it for its tapering grace its uplift straight and true i love it for the fairy lace it throws against the blue i love it for its quiet strength its hints of dreamy rest as stretching forth my weary length i lie here as its guest no persian rug for priceless fee was e'er so richly made as that the pine hath spread for me to woo me to its shade no kindly friend hath ever kept more faithful vigil by a tired comrade as he slept beneath his watchful eye but best of all i love it for its soft eternal green through all the winter winds that roar it ever blooms serene and strengthens souls oppressed by fears by troubles multiform to turn amid the stress of tears a smiling face to storm end of poem this recording is in the public domain exorcised by john kendrick banks read for librivox dot org by Ephia Tura. spied a bit of care to-day looked as black as anything but as he came up the way i began to sing songs and trills that thrill twiggly songs of joy and peace and dawn then i peeped out warily mr care had gone
End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Season of Youth by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Betty B. I fear there's little hope for me. On age I'll never sup. It makes no difference where I be when springtime first I chance to see and birds about me trill their glee i simply can't grow up my soul so full of verve and snap my heart so filled with joy despite in years i'm quite a chap in noisy rout i toss my cap and spread out flat on nature's lap i holler like a boy o oh, three times blessed time of spring your praises have been sung since birds first flew upon the wing since mortal man learned how to sing beneath the blessings that you bring keep us for ever young end of poem this recording is in the public domain laughter by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by alethea worry stalked along the road trouble sneaking after then black care and grief and goad enemies to laughter <laughs> but old laughter with a shout rose up and attacked em put the sorry pack to rout walloped em and whacked em laughter frivols day and night sometimes he's a bubble but he hath a deal of might in a bout with trouble. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Friends by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Anthony Patch. Memphis, Tennessee. May I be friends to all the trees, to birds and blossoms and the bees to things that creep and things that hide through all the teeming countryside on terms with all the stars at night with all their playful beams of light in love with leafy dales and hills and with the laughing mountain rills with summer skies and winter snows with every kind of breeze that blows the wide sea and the stretching plain the tempest and the falling rain if i were thus what need had i to fear death's solemn mystery that takes me from the world's alarms and lays me in earth's loving arms end of poem this recording is in the public domain philosophy by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by larry wilson if there's no sun, I still can have the moon. If there's no moon, the stars my needs suffice. And if these fail, I have my evening lamp. Or, lampless, there's my trusty tallow dip. And if the dip goes out, my couch remains, where I may sleep and dream there's light again. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Odd Ostra by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Phil Chenevere. I've walked with woe, and in my deep distress have learned from her the way to happiness. With failure I've communed, and in her frown have read how those who strive may win the crown. And face to face with sin, deep in her eyes, I've glimpsed the hint that leads to paradise. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Relinquishment by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Betty B. To Arcady let others go. I do not seek the way. I do not pine to wander through her meadows bright and gay. 
her wondrous joys let others take her songs let others sing the songs with which the birds awake the blossoms of the spring i care not for her floral treats nor for the pleasures rare with which each passing moment greets the dweller over there there's much of bliss in arcady and happiness prevails and all from woe and care are free within her pleasant dales her mien is smiling all the time her glance holds soft caress her voice hath music of the chime and spangled is her dress and yet despite her wealth of cheer unenvied is her lot for i have had that to hold me here that arcady hath not a floral feast in some one's eyes pure bliss in some one's lips care freedom in the glad surprise of some one's finger tips there's song enough in some one's voice to fill the heart of me with music that shall ne'er rejoice the vales of arcady end of poem this recording is in the public domain On a Gloomy Day by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Anthony Patch Memphis, Tennessee Depressed today? Well, so am I. Deep hid in clouds the heavens lie, And all the earth is merged in mist. My sun is yet unkissed, And gloomy is the weather. But here's a rope, not made of hemp, But weft of hope for brighter skies and joy to come that somewhere lies beyond our present gloomy view let down to help us to grip hold we'll climb to peace together end of poem this recording is in the public domain a sylvan home by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by phil chenevere give me a place deep in some tangled woody glade where in the days gone by some vagrom fairy strayed some happy carefree and contented little gnome to whom twas home clothe all the trees in soft soul-resting springtime green a sort of bower lustrous with scintillant sheen whose waving branches call the flying bird to rest and build her nest quite close at hand i'd have a babbling silver brook to fill with music sweet my quiet sylvan nook and deep within its pools let trout or salmon be unharmed of me let deer and fox and all the woodland creatures come and be my neighbors unafraid and frolicsome to sport about my doorstep gaily as one spends a day with friends and in the night when all the wood is still, may I find smiling visitors arriving from the sky, the dancing moon rays, and the starbeams full of glee, for company. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Persistence by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. Here's my heart for you, my sweet. See, I lay it at your feet. Do with it whate'er you will, Treat it well or treat it ill. Break it, if you please, And then I will have it fixed again, And within a day or two Send it back, my love, to you. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. May It Be Mine by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Phil Chenevere If any round about me play and dance and sing in glad array And laugh and cheer, may it be mine to see and hear. If any toil at noble things and strive the higher levelings to reach and win, May it be mine to join therein. If any grieve or suffer pain, And tears fall like the summer rain From troubled skies, May it be mine to sympathize. 
End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. In the Library by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. What joy to sit at eve among the treasures of a library, to hear the songs undying sung by singers with the silver tongue who've climbed unto the highest rung of immortality, to see the heroes of romance march forth in glorious array, the cavaliers of ancient France with visor down and poised at lance, as here and there their chargers prance all eager for the fray. To hear old Boswell's prattle fine of Johnson and his cronies great, to watch Columbus and his line of caravel speed o'er the brine, to rest with Omar neath the vine, and chum with men of state, to chat with noble Washington, with Caesar and with Cicero, to study birds with Audubon, to walk with Scott and Marmion, to stroll with Lamb and Emerson, with Carlyle and Thoreau. If you on happiness would look, on happiness that's true and blue, just glance within this little nook, by all the madding crowd forsook, where I am sitting with my book, and one to read it too. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Time's Banquet by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Jason in Panama Time's Banquet The past hath had its meed from me while it was passing. The present, therefore, I'll not be harassing with thoughts of things that were, or might have been. I've time and inclination but to win the best the hours imminent prepare, ensure the future with a present care, and feast my soul upon the fruit and wine of opportunity, on which twere well to dine with zest, as doth become the grateful guest of time, who in his onward flight hath set a table rare to wait on appetite. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Eloquence of Silence by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Jason in Panama the eloquence of silence i love the vast tranquillities of nature's silences the silence of the deep resistless power wrapped in restful sleep the silence of the storm-swept hills serene in face of bitter ills the silence of the skies so deeply blue that smile the live-long summer through the silence of the stars that shine by night and ease the dark with flash of friendly light. The silence of the glens and dales, sequestered nooks and deep verdured vales, all eloquent of peacefulness and true content. The silence of the forest wild that sings the tranquil songs of growing things. The silence of the meadows soon to bear the fruitage of the harvest and the rare sweet silence of the setting sun that tells of labor done. And love as great as that of paradise is whispered surest by the silent eyes. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. On File by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Alethea if an unkind word appears file the thing away if some novelty in jeers file the thing away if some clever little bit of a sharp and pointed wit carrying a sting with it file the thing away if some bit of gossip come file the thing away scandalously spicy crumb file the thing away if suspicion comes to you that your neighbor isn't true let me tell you what to do file the thing away do this for a little while then go out and burn the file 
End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Note Within by John Kendrick Banks. Read for LibriVox.org by Isra. I have a song within my heart that I shall never sing. I know it's there, for I can feel its joyous fluttering. Just how it goes, I do not know, and what it is about. Though I have tried and tried again, I cannot quite make out. But this I know, when days are dark, and song is the air, it does not vex my soul at all, because that song is there. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Nature's Hired Man by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Jason in Panama Nature's Hired Man Diggin' in the earth, helpin' things to grow Foolin' with a rake, flirtin' with a hoe Water in the plants, pullin' up the weeds Gatherin' the stones, puttin' in the seeds On your face and hands, pilin' up a tan That's the job for me nature's hired man wages best of all better far than wealth paid in good fresh air and a whole lot of health never any chance of your getting fired and when night comes on knowin' why you're tired nature's hired man that's the job for me with the birds and flowers for society let the other feller for the dollar scratch i am quite contented with my garden patch End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Smile of Plenty by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Jason in Panama. The Smile of Plenty. When plenty smiles, the world seems fair, and sweet content rests everywhere. Save when with laughter in her eye She smiles on want and passes by. Tis not thy smile that proves thee blest, O plenitude, thou art at best When on thy luscious lips we see The quivering touch of sympathy. Thy crown will not rest sure Until thou hast redeemed the world from ill, And taken that smile the courtier's vaunt And placed it on the lips of want. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. By Special Delivery by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Jason in Panama. By Special Delivery. When I've a quarrel in my mind with one who's far away, to scorching letters I'm inclined, in which I say my say. And then I take those seething screeds so full of ink and ire, In which I threaten awful deeds, and mail them in the fire. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Kindly Moon by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson the red moon rises from the sea and seems to pave a path for me as if inviting me to come and join it in its distant home a sparkling ladder made of gold it throws athwart the ripples cold and bids me climb to starry heights there to partake of its delights and when perchance it comes to know that while i would i may not go it smiles benignly on me still and lingers on my window sill. It peeps in at me through the pane until the night is on the wane, and at the coming of the day, still smiling back, tiptoes away. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Recipe for Happiness by John Kendrick Bangs read for librivox dot org by betty b begin the day with smiling eyes pursue the day with smiling lips through clouds perceive the smiling skies up where the smiling sunbeam trips 
let smiling thoughts within your mind drive gloom and cold despair apart and promptings of a genial kind keep ever glowing in your heart meet trouble with a cheery mien be jovial in the face of care he routs all mischief from the scene who greets it with a jocund air end of poem this recording is in the public domain a choice by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by betty b a choice if you must sit and sigh and have the blues why don't you try to realize that there are sighs and sighs and blues and blues from which to choose there's heavenly blues and blues of tranquil seas both pleasant if you have them pray have these and when you sigh be like the turtle dove who knows not grief and merely sighs for love end of poem this recording is in the public domain ambition by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by larry wilson no bay for me that critics may deny in distant ages no position high to win me others envy but a place among the men of service to my race to earn the meed of praise that comes to me who sees at eve his daily labor done and done so well no hostile eye can find a flaw in it or fault of any kind to spread a note of cheer where'er i stray to lead the joyless to a brighter day to fill the hearts of sufferers with song to stand always a sturdy foe to wrong to win the love of those with whom i toil to keep as close as may be to the soil whence came my strength and power and anon when it must be to die with harness on end of poem this recording is in the public domain the teachers by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by larry wilson give me a tree that i may watch it rise up ever upward to the eternal skies and learn from it the lesson it doth teach in patience air for higher things to reach give me a tiny rill a rivulet that speeds along unmindful of regret that dashes onward to the mighty sea a thirst of that great whole apart to be give me that sturdy peak that proudly rears its head aloft whatever storm appears to fill my soul with that great strengthfulness that holds it steadfast in the hour of stress give me a star to look at far above a star that sheds its radiant rays of love and sparkles fairest in the blackest night and sends down through the dark its song of light end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Road to Memory by John Kendrick Banks Read for LibriVox.org by Betty B. The Road to Memory Upon the road to memory I lingered long to-day, And oh the things that I did see Upon that precious way. A little chap with dark brown eyes With others came along. He was not big nor very wise, But happy was his song. He sang of days that were to come, when he should be a man they made a truly wondrous sum the things that he did plan but when he looked me in the face twas with a wistful eye then turned and gazed far into space and gave a little sigh and then he spoke his voice was kind his words ah they were good he whispered softly never mind we've done the best we could for on that road of memory that leads to yesterday he was the lad i used to be before my locks were gray end of poem this recording is in the public domain
my treasures by john kendrick bangs read for LibriVox.org by betty b my treasures i dreamed last night a spirit came to me and placed within my hand the golden key of fortune life's best treasures wait for thee quoth he beyond the sunrise gate i wandered through the night with visions rare of finding stores of gold and silver there of lustrous drifts of scintillating gems fit to adorn some monarch's diadems then when the dawn lit up the eastern sky and i awoke to find the dream gone by the sunrise gate before mine eyes swung ope and there my treasures lay love health and hope end of poem this recording is in the public domain the friendly knight by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by betty b the friendly knight night falls and darkness comes apace the earth in mystic shadow lies a veil hath covered nature's face and seems to hide her eyes the fading light tiptoes away the laggard hours softly creep as with the passing of the day the world is hushed in sleep a vast sweet stillness covers all a quietude unvexed and blessed now sounds a scarcely whispered call that summons us to rest gateway to dreams gone care and pain gone sorrow sighs gone tears and blight pathway from light to light again god's blessings on thee night end of poem this recording is in the public domain suppose by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by betty b suppose suppose your mind a garden were all ready for the spring and everything you planted there would soon be blossoming suppose that evil thoughts were weeds that rankly grew apace and every dream of selfish deeds should blossom in disgrace while every impulse to be kind to ease some other's woes should bud and blossom in your mind a fair and fragrant rose suppose that every idle whim and every thought of scorn should find its fruitage in a grim and poison-laden thorn while every purpose to uplift your soul from sordid ways should burst into a snow-white drift of tender lily sprays tis surely with no danger fraught supposing things like this and maybe here's a seed of thought to flower forth in bliss end of poem this recording is in the public domain on thinking glad by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by tom penn never mind a change of scene try a change of thinking what if things seem sordid mean what's the use of blinking life's not always storm and cloud somewhere stars are shining try to think your joys out loud silence all repining by degrees by thinking light thinking glad and sweetly you'll escape the stress of night worry gone completely get the habit looking for sunbeams pirouetting tapping gaily at your door surest cure for fretting needn't fool yourself at all for there's no denying even above a prison wall songbirds are a-flying wherefore hearken to the song never mind the prison and you'll find your soul ere long unto freedom risen end of poem this recording is in the public domain the escape by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by tom penn escape from your shop for a little no matter just where it may be go out in the green woods and whittle or wander along by the sea fly forth from the turbulent city and all of its clangorous ills and list to the jovial ditty of birds on the burgeoning hills no matter how much you enjoy it drop work for a moment and dance go out for a little and boy it give old mother nature a chance be noisy and fresh and be jolly build castles of nothing but air 
drop worry and black melancholy escape from vexation and care go lie on the grass and just holler go laze by the babbling streams forget there's a thing called a dollar and live in your visions and dreams like mists of the night like a bubble will vanish unquiet in fear and out of the sea of your trouble will rise the warm sunlight of cheer end of poem this recording is in the public domain to melancholy by john kendrick bangs read for LibriVox.org by tom penn melancholy melancholy i've no use for you by golly yet i'm going to keep you hidden in some chamber dark forbidden just as though you were a prize sir made of gold and i a miser not because i think you jolly <laughs> melancholy not for that i mean to hoard you keep you close and lodge and board you as i would my sisters brothers cousins aunts and old grandmothers but that you shan't bother others with your sniffling snuffling folly howling yowling melancholy end of poem this recording is in the public domain end of songs of cheer by john kendrick bangs